Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to find a halfway point on Google Maps. But before we start, hurry up and check out other stuff just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you find the halfway point here for a specific location on Google Maps here. Well, finding the halfway point is actually pretty easy. So in this case, we first need to decide where we want to add our first location. So for example, we have this location here. So in this location here, what you need to do is you need to actually right click on it. Now from here, it should give you the measure distance option here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now what we need to do next is we now need to click on the point where we want to actually measure the distance for. Like for example, maybe we want to measure the following location here. So in this case, you just need to actually left click on it and it should give you the following uh, measurement, which in this case, the total length itself is 2.18 kilometers. Now, you could also see this at the very bottom here. So in this case, you can make a really rough estimate here. So in this case, in my case, it's actually going to be 1.05, if I'm not mistaken here or around that case. But in this case, you should be able to make your own estimate. Now, also, uh, what I like doing here is I actually want, like to add a point here so that I'll be or I won't be lost where the halfway point here. Like, for example, like what I said before, the SMA here is around 1.05. So that's just an estimate. So maybe let's switch it up to zero, uh, 1.09. So in this case, so we have our mark here. So we have so starting from this point, we have 0, 0 0.5. We have 1. And from here, we want to actually mark this as 0 uh, 0.09. So typically, it's going to be around uh, this section. So maybe maybe around this section here. So you could also eyeball this if you want to, but I like to actually add it in here. Now, it should show you the actual distance itself. So in this case, if you actually click on it, you should remove that. But again, if you click on it, it should add that point. So in this case, you could go ahead and just zoom in and see how or how long it's actually going to be. So yeah, in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.